Elon Musk had hoped he'd be seeing SpaceX's Starship system splash down in the Gulf of Mexico today. But the private spaceflight company says contact has been lost with its Starship spacecraft minutes after it reached space. The launch booster also exploded during the 10-minute flight. SpaceX, however, says the test was a success and provided critical data needed to improve the launch system. It's the second test of the Starship system that experienced what SpaceX jokingly has called a rapid unscheduled disassembly this year. And for more on such disassemblies, I'm joined by Keith Cowing, who is the editor of SpaceRef.com in Washington. Uh, thank you for joining us. Tell me, SpaceX celebrated the launch today as a success despite the unscheduled disassembly. Was it really one? They didn't plan for the rocket to blow up. But you notice how quickly they had the acronym ready to go, which in the space industry we need to have. R-U-D, a rapid unscheduled. Yeah. But the point is, it, the rocket got much further than it did before. Uh, the first time it blew up and didn't even lose, lose its second stage. This time it looked clean to me. And when they did lose it, it was, I'm pretty sure the second stage was either in space or at the edge of space. So as far as test flights go, it was pretty good. And M Mr. Musk's space company, of course, uh, as you know, has a contract with NASA. Do you think that contract is in danger today? Um, I don't think so. I think they've understood from the beginning that this is a sporty development process. But because SpaceX has the culture where they can launch and fix and launch and fix and launch and fix, they can get from a rocket that sort of works to one that does work. And their Falcon 9 has flown like 250 times. I mean, their success rate is astonishing and their ability to get to such success rates leaves NASA with a lot of confidence. But and not then, infinite confidence. Okay. Well, tell me about, there's all this private money and the private companies, rival billionaires, uh, doing the job that NASA used to do, sending up rockets into space. And I'm thinking, of course, of Blue Horizon and Jeff Bezos, the head of Amazon. How far are they in their development of space exploration? Well, the, the rocket that uh, Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, is developing, it's big. It's in a giant building. Uh, it's taken longer than they planned, but you can see pictures of it, and they've launched smaller rockets. So if you put that together, as we say here, it's not a PowerPoint rocket anymore. It's You can see it. You can walk by it and point at it and say, oh, it's big. When they're going to launch, that's uh, they tend to be secretive, let's just say, and it could be in the next year or so. And between the two billionaires, if you were to sort of lay money on who would take the lead in providing private launch facilities to NASA and the world? Who, who's, who's ahead here? SpaceX and Elon Musk are ahead right now just by sheer volume of launching things into space on various rockets. Uh, however, Blue Origin has hired some of the best people in the industry, so it's a, it's a competition of sorts. It can be a little cutthroat, but the end result is uh, you know, cheaper rocket flights and more rocket flights and all the good space stuff that we people in the space world like to see. Okay. Well, Keith Cowing, thank you so much. Keith is the editor of SpaceRef.com, talking to us from Washington. Thank you.